Greetings, greetings, citizens of Super Earth. Welcome back for your weekly news recap of our ongoing Second Galactic War. We have a couple of surprises in store for you this double weekly update as our studio is asked by Super Earth to take a democratic week off. We have our meteorologist, Son of Valor, and a message from our partnered studio, GFN, and a commemoration from Pondera, the radio angel, back on Super Earth to help keep us all up to date on Liberty's latest. To start off, the Ministry of Truth released two new patches, 1.001.004 and .005 to each Helldiver's Destroyer. Primarily game fixes focused around game crashes and a rework of the explosion radius of the impaler, Impaler's <clears throat> tyrannical appendages and the Scout Strider's light rockets. If you want to see more, check our video description to the links to these two patches to read in them in detail. Now, next, the one and only Son of Valor, a 100% approved Super Earth meteorologist is here to bring us the weekly weather. Hellpod launch initiated. Hill divers on the front. I am Son of Eller giving you your weekly forecast. It's good to be back, my fellow Hell divers. I want to encourage all of you out there fighting the good fight. Don't give up. Keep standing strong and don't let anyone stop you. Any bug, any termite, or even a fellow Hell diver. You do whatever it costs to get that mission done. I believe in you, Hell divers. And now I will give you our weekly forecast. For Tuesday, we have liberty, of course. Wednesday, we have freedom. Thursday, we have patriotism. And Friday and Saturday, we have sweet, sweet victory. <laughs> Only the best for you, Helldivers. Keep fighting at the front. Godspeed, back to you, Strider. How'd you like to change the freedom? Thank you, Son of Valor, for that democratic weather update. Next up, we have a commemoration to the Rangers of Super Earth Special Forces from the Radio Angel herself, Pondera. I wanted to include a mention of an elite team of Helldivers known as the Rangers, men of the West, led in a battle by good friend of the show, Strider of Valor. A record of their exploits is linked in the description below, and from the moment their pods leave the ship, the SDS Ranger of Family Values, they strike upon the complacent automatons of Azure path like the wrath of God. Hey, according to what I know of historical record, the covenant implies that God just wouldn't flood the world a second time. Those pages don't mention anything about restricting Helldivers from fighting the wicked and the soulless. Automatons just so happen to be both. I have to admit, I was concerned when I saw that they were dropping right into the middle of an automaton fortress. I wouldn't even send my own disgraced Helldivers into a drop zone like that, and I don't even like those cheaters. But the pods of the Rangers slammed through automaton fabricators, and before the bots could even figure out what was going on or who was attacking them, the Super Destroyers were already sending artillery rounds on target. The entire fortress was blown to pieces inside of a minute and a half. Now that's the kind of results we need if we want to win this war. I hope the rest of you are taking notes. Here at Stroman News, we thank you, Hondera, for supporting our Helldivers and keeping Super Earth citizens updated with Liberty's latest. Now, Helldivers, recent news over the past two weeks have developed that a gloom has been growing over terminate planets, and we have Walter with GFN here to give us all the details. The terminid spore cloud, known as the gloom, is spreading rapidly, with scientists unable to halt its growth due to counterfeit samples. If we do not stop it, it could engulf the galaxy in a matter of weeks. Super Earth will not stand by. Helldivers are ordered to deploy all available firepower to eradicate as many terminids as possible, with a special focus on bile titans and prevent further terminid infestations. There are many unknowns about the gloom, and we must be ready for anything, Helldivers. This is Galactic Frontline News. Back to you, Strider of Valor. Thank you, Walter, for that crucial update from the Ministry of Science on the current outlook of the terminid gloom. 
Now with more updates to come soon from our very own in-house Meridia AI 2.0, she will be updating on all that has transpired with our Helldivers on the front from August 13th to August 27th. Salutations, intrepid heroes of Super Earth. On August 13th, Gakrux and Akamar were attacked by the Terminants. While Akamar was successfully defended, Gakrux was lost against the endless hordes of the spore powered Terminants. This operation was called Lighthouse. Helldivers were asked by High Command to liberate Trust and Vandalon 4, while at the same time hold the line against gloom infested Terminants. The Helldivers successfully wiped out the remaining pocket of Automaton resistance while simultaneously holding the line against the Terminate spread. The territory occupied by the Automatons has been reduced by half in a matter of weeks. The gloom continues to spread, suffusing intergalactic space with an impenetrable cloud of Terminate spores. The spores seem to accelerate the spread of Terminates to planets in its vicinity. If not for the valiant efforts of the Helldivers, many more of our planets would already be overrun by Tyranny. On August 15th, the Ministry of Science enacted Operation Prometheus, requiring Helldivers to secure Terminant research samples, allowing our scientists to investigate the gloom. The mission was simple. Successfully extract 45 million common samples on Nivel 43, extract 15 million rare samples on Earth's sands, and extract 10 million rare samples on Crimsica. Much to the dismay of Super Earth High Command, the Ministry of Science had detected a large batch of counterfeit samples within the delivery of the last major order. As is customary, medals have been awarded to all Helldivers who honourably performed their duties. Those who submitted false samples have had their pet fish executed. Laboratories all across Super Earth controlled territories are attempting to filter out the false samples, but the expected scientific advances to combat the spread of the gloom had decreased significantly. As a result of this, worlds near the gloom have begun resettlement protocols. As a result of the hacked major order, High Command enacted Operation People's Shield, where Helldivers were requested to liberate Curia and defend three attacks from the automatons. By August 19th, this was completed. The automatons had been pushed back from the sectors closest to Super Earth. Our VIP citizens have been protected their patriotic dedication rewarded with the guarantee of safety they deserve. This success would not have been possible without the extra chemical weapons provided by the disgraced soldiers who submitted counterfeit samples. Their non-stop work with highly toxic chemicals provided the boost we needed to push the automatons back. Their debt to Super Earth has been repaid in full and they have earned the right to serve Super Earth in their new role with clean slates. As of today, we are fighting Operation Brute Force. The objective is to eradicate as many Terminates as possible, with a focus on Vile Titans, in the hope of somehow arresting the spread of the gloom. Helldivers are required to kill 5,000 Vile Titans, 750 million Terminates, and hold Eskar, Estanu, and Pandion 24 for the duration of the Major Order. Thank you, Rangers and Helldivers, for choosing us to be your Super Earth Update Network. And we want you to join us Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8 p.m. CST for drops wherever Super Earth requires. Our Discord link is below, and we would like to enlist you with our Rangers of Super Earth Special Forces. Dive safe and see you in the next news video. Best of the best. Live up to your name.